Hi, I'm Sarah Geringer. Are you in need of help that only God can provide today? Well, I have encouragement, hope, and peace for you in Psalm 70. As we begin a guided meditation on this psalm, let's calm our spirits by taking a deep breath in, and as we're inhaling, we're gonna invite the Holy Spirit into our meditation time to help enlighten us to the truths in his word. And as we breathe out, we're gonna cast out anything that's standing in the way of us focusing on God's word. So let's breathe in and out. Psalm 70 is only five verses long. I would like to read the whole thing to you and then pull out a verse that we can focus on. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. Please, God, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to kill me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame, for they said, Aha, we've got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, God is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Please hurry to my aid, O God. You are my helper and my savior. O Lord, do not delay. So this is one of David's Psalms, one of many in, when, in which he's crying out to God to rescue him from the dangers that he's in. I want us to focus on the first part of verse four today, and I'm gonna read it three times so that we can focus on it. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. So if we break this down, the ones who can be filled with joy and gladness in the Lord are the ones who search for him. And we can see from this psalm that David is crying out to God for rescue and help in his time of need. He's searching for God's help, the help that only God can provide to him. So I wonder, are you searching for God first when you're in need? Or are you turning to something else? Now, I have done this myself many times. And I learned through uh, trial and error, many errors, that uh, searching God first is the way to find peace in your situation, even when it's really difficult. If you're searching other things out, even good things like opinions from your friends or Christian books, um, it's those aren't bad things, but they're putting your heart in the wrong place. Your heart has to be seeking God first when you need help. And that is going to transform your life if you make a regular habit of doing that. And just one of the benefits of doing that is that you'll be filled with joy and gladness even if your trial doesn't change. You'll have God's presence living inside of you, you'll have the Holy Spirit bearing spiritual fruit in you, and that's how you'll have joy and gladness that's independent of your circumstances. So I think that David has a lot of wisdom for us in these five verses. I hope that you will turn to your Bible and go ahead and look these over yourself. Maybe there's another verse that you'd like to focus on yourself. But what I'm going to do is make a printable of this verse, put it on my site, that's free download for you, and you can write it out three times and that helps you hide it in your heart and mind so that you can pull it out later to remind you to seek God first when you need help. So let's pray this verse now. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching today. I pray that they would uh, become disciplined to search for you very first when times of need, times of trouble, times when they need rescue come, that they would turn to you first 
and that would fill them with joy and gladness no matter what they're going through because they're inviting you into their experience. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Make sure that you head to the link in the comments to get your free printable. And if you enjoyed this video and got something good from it, please like it, comment on it, or share it with someone that you know could benefit from it today. Next time, we will look at a guided meditation on a portion of Psalm 71 together. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.